Okay, let's make sure you understand basic algebra. And in algebra, we solve a lot of equations like this right here. And this is a nice basic algebra equation. So if you're not sure how to solve algebra equations, well, we can go through this problem step by step. And the problem is uh, 3n plus 2 is equal to n plus 10. The objective here is to solve for the variable n. We're trying to figure out what n is equal to. Okay, what value is n equal to? Well, that would be the solution to this equation. And if you know how to figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer here in just one second. And then we're going to walk through uh, solving this uh, equation step by step so you have a solid understanding of how to solve basic algebraic equations. This is not that difficult. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades, and uh, it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so we have 3n plus 2 is equal to n plus 10. This is a basic uh, equation in algebra. Technically, we would call this a linear equation, but we'll just throw all that technicality stuff out for now. Again, the objective is to figure out what n is equal to. Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. n is equal to 4. Okay, so if you got this right, that is fantastic. Let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars so you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a professional basic algebra equation solver, okay? I mean, that just sounds so impressive. Matter of fact, if you have like some sort of name tag, you could put that right on your shirt and, you know, just walk around school. You know, everyone would be very impressed with that indeed. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. And uh, what I'm really going to try to emphasize here is just some of the basic rules and basic concepts of solving equations in algebra. All right, so the first kind of uh, model that I want uh, uh, to kind of introduce to you is the model of a balance scale, okay? Now, back where uh, um, I'm from, okay, I think we used to call these things teeter-totters or seesaws. Uh, let me see here. You would go to the playground, you have these little things, and one person would be right here, and another person would be right here. Now, of course, if you're like me and you grew up in the 1970s where there was no internet, no, no nothing like that, the playgrounds are really cool. We used to always get hurt. You know, when I was a kid, I had all kinds of broken arms and whatnot. Uh, we used to think that was fun. But anyways, one person would be here, they'd go this way, the other person this way, and then, you know, back and forth, seesaw, teeter-totter, uh, etc. Hopefully these things exist, but I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. All right, well, that's the kind of the vision what I want you to uh, uh, think about when we look at this little scale right here, okay? So we have uh, the equal sign. That's what we call like the fulcrum, right? That's kind of like where this thing balances itself. And we have the right-hand side of the equation, and then we have the left-hand side of the equation. Now, if I can literally like weigh these, uh, put these on a scale and weigh them in pounds, for example, okay, uh, they would be the same weight, okay, because these things are in perfect balance, not unlike our little situation right here with uh, uh, two people on this teeter-totter. If you're sitting here like this, you know, let's suppose your feet are not touching the ground, well, then you are the same distance away from the scale at the same weight, right? I don't want to get too technical, but I think you understand what I'm talking about. If one person's bigger over here, they weigh more, it's going to be out of us. You know, this is going to be going this way. It's not going to be in balance. But equations are um, expressing balance. And algebra, we're stating that the left-hand side is equal in value to uh, the uh, right-hand side. The left-hand side is equal in value to the right-hand side. So you kind of think of that in terms of weight, okay? So that's the kind of the first concept that we want to use. And when we keep that in mind, I want you to uh, uh, think about this um, teeter-totter situation because let's take a look at another uh, kind of model here. Same uh, situation or a little scale right here, right? If I have five pounds here and five pounds here, the scale's perfectly balanced, okay? Now what happens if I add two pounds over here? 
Okay, well, if I add two pounds right there, well, then obviously the scale is going to drop down because uh, the scale now is we have uh, five over here and seven over here. It's heavier, right? But I could fix that situation by adding two pounds over here, okay? And then this would become seven, and now the thing would get back into balance, okay? So the one thing you can always do in algebra, I'm going to... I uh, I'm going to call it the golden rule of algebra. If I have uh, five pounds here and five pounds here, and I add two pounds here, and I add two pounds here, nothing changes. The, uh, the scale is still in balance. And that is the algebra golden rule. Now, I made this up. There is no such thing as algebra golden rule. But this is how I want you to remember it. The golden rule of algebra is whatever you do to, you could do whatever you want to one side of uh, an equation in algebra, okay? As long as you do the exact same thing to the other side because the equation is in balance. We gotta keep the equation in balance. So I can add 10 over here, no big deal. I'm not gonna hurt anything as long as I add 10 over here. I can multiply this equation by two over here, no big deal, as long as I multiply the equation over here, I have to be fair. Whatever I do to one side of the equation, I got to do the exact same operation to the other side. Okay, so if you understand that concept, then you understand really the essence of how to solve uh, equations in algebra. Now, I'm going to show you the rest of the steps uh, here uh, in a second. But before I do so, I want to kindly ask you to subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. If you're getting some sort of value on my content, it would mean so much if you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification button as well. This really goes a long way for me on my YouTube channel. All right, back to the prompt. So now that we have this kind of golden rule of algebra in mind, right? So whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do the exact same thing to the other side. So that's the first thing we want to keep in mind. The second thing we want to keep in mind when it comes to solving equations is we want to get all the variables to the left. Okay, now what are the uh, variables here? We have 3n, and these are variable terms. We want to get, uh, it's like, this is like one team. We want to get all the variables on this side of the field. So that would be all the n's. And then we want to get all the numbers to the right. So we have 2 and 10, all those numbers to the right-hand side. So this is the typical uh, kind of format to solve equations. So when we look at the equation, we're like, okay, let's see here. 3n, you're on the left-hand side where you're supposed to be, and we're going to have to scoot you over there. And then two, we want you to get uh, go on the other side because all the numbers need to go over here. So we're going to have to move some things around. And uh, the way we're going to move things around is to keep that golden rule of algebra in mind. Okay, so now that those two big picture concepts down, we can easily solve this equation. All right, so first things first, I'm going to, uh, now I, I can move the numbers first or the variables first, but I want to collect all the variables to the left and all the numbers to the right. We'll start with the numbers. So again, I have the two, a, uh, a number here on the left-hand side. I want to move it to the other side, right? We just talked about that, all the numbers to the right-hand side. So how can I move this positive two to the other side? Easy. I'm going to subtract two from this side. I'm going to get rid of this two on the left-hand side by subtracting a two away. It makes sense, right? If I got a positive two, just subtract two and that becomes zero. But what's the golden rule of algebra? Well, whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do the exact same thing on the other side. So if I'm gonna take away two on this side, I have to take away two on this side as well. And if you look at the format, as I'm writing this, you want to copy this style. There's other ways to kind of do this, but I've been doing this for a long, long time. This is by far the best format to write to write this. So we're going to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. And 2 is a number, so we're going to subtract it from the other number on this side, 10. So we're going to put it just like this. You're going to draw a line, and then you're going to kind of add down in a column manner. Okay. So 3n plus nothing is 3n. Uh, 2 minus 2 is 0. There's no need to write 0. Okay, that just goes away, and we're just left with 3n. n plus nothing is n, and 10 minus 2 is 8. Okay, so we just took one step, and if we notice right now, uh, remember the objective is to get all of our variables on the left and all of our numbers on the right. Guess what? We got all of our numbers now on the right-hand side. Uh, of course, we have just one eight, one number, so we're good to go there. Now we have to work on getting this n 
uh, this little one end right here over to the other side. Uh, so let's go ahead and take that step right now. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. I have this end over here. I want to move it to the other side, so we got to get rid of it on the right-hand side. So we're just going to subtract this n away. Now, this is an n. You might be saying, well, what number is this? Well, in algebra, if you have like x, n, y, we have the number in front of it is actually 1. That's called the coefficient, but we don't typically write a 1. So if you see an n, that's really a 1n. Okay, so we're going to subtract n from both sides of the equation. Remember, keeping that gold algebra golden rule in mind. So uh, n minus n is 0. And let me go ahead and just kind of add down in a column manner. So we'll start this way. 3n uh, minus 1n is positive 2n. n minus n is 0n. Okay, that goes away. And then 8 plus nothing is 8. And now we're down to here. Okay. All right, so this is looking really good for us. This is what we call a one-step equation. One-step equation because there's literally one step to solve this equation. And uh, we have 2n is equal to 8. Notice we have all of our variable stuff on the left and all of our numbers on the right. So we are ready to solve this equation. Okay, so 2 uh, times n is equal to 8. Now, there's other things that I want to kind of get into, uh, but this is not the video to try to teach you everything about solving equations. But I want you to notice something here. That Let me go back to this step here. If you notice, we have 3n plus 2. Now, I subtracted 2 because I had I wanted to get rid of this 2. I'm doing the opposite um, um, math operation. So if this is addition, I'm doing subtraction, right? So over here, uh, this is addition. I'm doing subtraction again. Now, right here, 2n, this is multiplication, okay? So to take the next step, I'm doing division. So if you're kind of noticing that pattern, you are spot on, right? So here I have 2n. My objective is to just have 1n. So how can I get... Uh, n by itself, well, I'm going to divide 2n by 2, okay? So 2 divided by 2 is 1 or 1n. But again, golden rule of algebra, whatever I do to the uh, left-hand side, i got to do it to the right-hand side. So 2n divided by 2 is 1n. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and we are done, okay? So n is equal to 4. That is the solution to the equation. Now, what does that mean? Well, let's go back up here. And uh, n is equal to 4. And let's just plug in for n. n is equal to 4. And hopefully, uh, this is going to uh, make the left-hand side equal to the right-hand side. So 3 times n is 4, right? So we're going to plug in. Instead of n, we're going to write 4. So that's going to be 3 times 4 plus 2. Is that the same thing as 4? That's n, right? Plus 10. So 3 times 4 is 12 plus 2. 12 plus 2 is 14. Is that the same thing as 4 plus 10? 4 plus 10 is 14. That is a true statement, okay? Uh, so the number that we plugged in that caused this to be true is called the solution. So n is equal to 4 is the correct solution. All right, so basic algebra, uh, but again, you know, I'm kind of I'm not going into full detail. If you're learning algebra and you're really learning how to solve equations, what you want is full, complete instruction. And if you need that, definitely check out like my pre-algebra or Algebra 1 course. Also, I have a ton of additional YouTube videos that can help you out. But either way, you need to build up your skills, and it starts with understanding these very basic concepts about algebra, like the golden rule of algebra. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.